of a heart transplant and a kidney transplant. Just a few months ago. And pleasing to the eye, 
and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them was open, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made covering for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the voice of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, where? Are you? Put your finger right there. Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I command you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree. And I ate. Go back to that ninth verse where it says, But the Lord God called to me, Where are you? You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let us pray, eternal Father, our Father. Once more and again, oh Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning, giving us the church going mind, and that we were closed in our right mind. Father God, thank you for traveling mercies and grace. Thank you for family and for friends. Lord God, in this preaching moment, Father God, we ask for Heavenly Father that you move Anthony out. You step in. You speak through him, O Heavenly Father. Because this is your word, O Heavenly Father. The word, O Heavenly Father, that you plan and that your people are here to hear. You gave this word, O oh Heavenly Father, and you want your people to hear this word. Father God, we ask that you be with our pastor, O oh Heavenly Father. Bless him and strengthen him and keep him, his family, O oh Heavenly Father. Build him up where he's weak, strengthen him where he's been torn down. Be with the sick and the shut in everywhere. Those that are going and coming back from a new made world. We thank you. We love on you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let the church say amen. amen. My brothers and my sisters, if I had to, well, not if I had to, because I must take the text this morning. And the text this morning is coming from our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And it says simply the question, where are you? I want you to repeat that with me and bless your hand in your heart because this question talks about all of us. And we're going to 
going to say, where am I? Where am I? My brothers and my sisters, the book of Genesis is the first book of the Bible. But more important, it tells the beginning of creation. It's the first book of the Torah, the law of Moses. The five books of the Torah are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Genesis opened with God's creating the heavens, the earth, the stars, the plants, the animals, humans, Adam and Eve. God placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, but they rebelled against God, introducing curses of sin and death to the world. Adam and Eve disobeyed God in the Garden of Eden and they were cast out of the Garden. My brothers and my sisters, the key question that I ask, where are you? As we move from 2018 to 2019, where are you? <coughs> Do you have a relationship with God or are you just plain church? Where are you in your walk with God? Do you know him? Are you just plain? Put it on a mask on Sunday morning, coming to church to show off your new outfit or your new car, or just to meet that man or that woman that come to church that you may be interested in so that you may get their phone number or hug from them so it would make you son. Where are you in your walk with God? Do you still frequently visit the bars? Where are you when you walk through the doors of the bars and they know you by your first name, by your middle name, by your last name, your address, your cell phone number, and email. Where are you? When you go to the strip clubs, you get paid. You tell the teller, I need $100 in singles. Oh, yes, yeah, some of you do. You know how I know you if this happened? Because I'm the one that's giving them the one hundred dollars in singles. Uh -huh. And I tell them, have a good time, but be safe. <laughs> you give them these the hard earned money to these dancers. Where are you in your walk with God. When you leave work or your home to meet that man or that woman, knowing that they are married and have a family, just to say that I have somebody. You know what the Ten Commandments says? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Where are you? 
this morning in your walk with God? With your family? Are you spreading the word of God to your family? Are you telling them how God has made a difference in your life? And how he can give you eternal life? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Where are you when you're with your friends and you're telling them about God? Where are you still out there doing the same thing with your friends? And you're telling them that I'm saved. But they still see you rolling the weed. Drinking on the drink. Beating them to the club. Now my brothers and my sisters, I'm asking you, where are you? Because my brothers and sisters, some things need to change from 2018 as we go into 2019. And my sisters, all oh, this is a walk that you only get to walk one time. And my brothers and my sisters, I'm telling you, as we walk this walk, you got to be able to talk this talk. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, here is the dressing up room. Where well, we shed off all this sin that we have because we know that we got a home on high that we're going to. 